Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Trader Guide, part one. And today what we are going to just be covering is what you can start making money on. Now, the biggest uh, part that I want to focus on, on the first video in this series, is that a lot of people um, are complaining that the loot is very low at the moment, okay? And I understand why the developers have done that. And I really feel we should give credit where credit is due, okay? Because the spawning system in the game works on percentages, it can work like if I walk into a town, I can find a hiking backpack within the first cupboard I search, where you can search five towns and still not find a hiking backpack, okay? So the old loot system, yes, you could find things easier, but finding specifically what you want was always quite difficult. Now, with the trading system, you can pick up all the items that you usually wouldn't pick up, picked up because you don't want to use them. Now you can pick them up, sell them, and buy exactly what you want. Like, I'll give you guys an example. How difficult is it for you to collect a snow army gear set? Snow pants, snow shirt, snow gloves, snow helmet, snow everything. Or, you know, any camo set, you know? Anything that you really, really, really wanted in the game. How long did it take you to collect those specific items that you were looking for? Where well, now, you can buy them. Okay, you can look the way you want. You don't have to wear um, wear certain items of clothing because that's all you found. You can now have a choice of what to wear, what weapon to use. You're not forced to use a nine mil because you found a nine mil. You can buy over time whatever you want, and of course the armory prices are very very. Um, quite high, okay, but once we understand the trading system, which is going to be a major part of the game, okay, there are two things that I love in this update. The others, I don't, you know, that, it doesn't really make a difference to me. The first thing is that we can drop into the map so that we've got a choice where we want to go instead of just having no clue where we're going to spawn. Don't know if you guys have ever spawned and asked yourself, like, yes, you've got the map, guys, but... You know, and um, you've never got control over where you spawn. Now you've got control. Okay, when you spawn in a sector, you can fly across half of that sector to save yourself a lot of time. Okay, and to have a lot of fun and to be very creative. But with the tra the trading system is going to be integral part of the game, and I need you guys to look at the bright side of it. I need you to to change your mindset on it because we're still going to have trade bosses. We're going to, you know, the AI in the trading post are going to give us missions. We're going to get these, um, you know, these people that have been on the island forever and we're going to get mutant bosses and stuff like that. The developers are planning a lot of great things, but we need to support them, okay? Yes, it's very, it's very easy, you know, to point the finger, but... I want you guys to understand that if you if you really use what they are giving you, you will see that it's much better than it was, okay? It's a much better survival game, and it's a lot more fun, you know? Having the, the trading system, which is going to expand massively in the future, okay? And instead, uh, like, lots of people always complain that they can't... F we take that one point, guys. A lot of people complain that they can never find a car. Well, now you can loot and buy a car. Okay, that one point alone should, you know, get most of your support. Okay? They are making life easier. You are just looking at the one side. The loot's low. I don't like it. No. Use the trading system, you know, and start to love it. Like I say, give credit where credit is due. In any case, I'm not going to make this video longer than 10 minutes, guys. So in the first video, we're just going to look at what can I sell when I start in the game, okay? Without really needing to, you know, focus where I'm going to loot and whatever. 
what can I craft and what can I find very easily, you know, that sells for the for the highest price, okay? I'm not going to spawn in every single item in the game and, you know, show you exactly what everything costs. I'm going to show you what I've learned over the last week, okay? And then every Saturday, I will, or every time, you know, Every time I've got new info that I feel is very relevant for you guys, I will make part two and part three as we go along. Of course, a lot of prices have changed. Like at the start, you could make the ear necklaces or the teeth necklaces. And you can make you could make really good money with that. Okay, so there's a lot, quite a lot of people that got rich with that. Um, but they're going to fine tune the traders. Okay as we give them feedback and as they see certain problems arise. I do feel that the M82 ammo might be a problem in the future. I think it is a little bit too cheap, looking at the big picture. Um, but for now, I'm quite happy. Okay, so let's just start at the general store, guys. When you start with the game, you can find an animal quite easily. You can craft an improvised mask quite easily. Okay, for an improvised mask, you basically just need a skin rope and you just need, you, you ju just need um, the, these uh, magnifying glasses, okay, which you can get from a camera lens and a crowbar, okay, it's not that difficult. So if we look at the basics, a skin is very easy to find, not a, not a, not a puppet skin, animal skin. And then we've got the bear head, which you can craft into a bear hat. We've got the improvised backpack, which you can craft. We've got a basic backpack, which you can find. We've got clothing. Okay, I've got clothing on me that you can find. And then we've got a helmet. Okay, so those are the basic items that you can find right at the start of the game. And, I'm, and I looked at all well, the prices... Well. Of the things that you can find at the beginning of the game, guys. None of them are really worth it, okay? So I'm just showing you the good stuff. If you kill a bear, taking the head is gives you more than crafting the head hat. The difference is I can't put this on my head. I can't put this on my head to save inventory space, okay? So yes, the raw animal heads, if you kill an animal then all the, all the heads are going to be roughly the same price, okay? Depending on how, how much people sell it. But all the heads are going, to be are going to be roughly the same price. So if you find an animal with a very small head, they're all going to sell for the same price. But if you turn them into a hat, you are going to lose a bit of value, okay? Except that if you put the thing on your head, you're saving a lot of inventory so, space. What will it be? This improvised backpack is quite easy to craft, okay? I've crafted quite a few in the last few days. You just need rope, which you can get from puppets. You need rags, which you can get from puppets because you search them, you cut up their clothing. You need um, improvised rope, which you can also cut up their clothing and make improvised rope. And then you, it's basically just a sewing kit, guys. That's the difficult part, okay? Just a sewing kit. So these are quite nice, okay? And they don't take up a lot of space. I mean, it's a three by three slot. You know, which is really, really good. Then the motorbike boots again. Boots that I usually never wear. But now I'll now I'll pick them up. Okay. I'll pick them up because they were they're worth quite a bit. Then of course your jacket, so, you know, is worth a bit, be? the helmet. But again, when you're looking at clothing, guys, I like to pick up small pieces of clothing, shirts, pants, you know, something that I can really put a lot of items into a hiking backpack which makes a huge difference. So at the beginning of the game, we're looking at basically the skin, the head, you know, the mask. And of course you can, you know, you can craft the bear gloves as well. Okay. If you want a little bit of extra profit on that. So you wear this and you wear the gloves, you know, then you're carrying about 300 bucks on you. You can craft this. This isn't really so, worth it for me because be? this is the same price, but this takes a lot more space. Okay, so I don't really like that item. So what I'd like you to focus on is, um, you know, skin, um, bear heads. Um, you know, if you kill an animal, you know, focus on its head. If you can craft this, 
okay? And, he, and collect clothing, guys. It's going to help you quite a bit, okay? Clothing is worth quite a bit. And then one thing that helped me quite a, quite a bit is that crossbows don't cost a lot. The crossbows aren't that difficult to craft, okay? Just want to quickly see where I am. Uh, okay. So, so for all your crossbow, for all you crossbow fans, this is not bad at all. Okay, again, I'm just looking at items which you can craft and find quite easily at the very start of the game. In the next video, we will cover items that you can find, you know, within the first three days, and then the third video will be items that you can focus on, you know, when you're geared, you know, and you get high tier loot. That thing registered. But for now. Kidding. The bow, Nobody the best cares. bow that you can craft, only goes for two dollars. Okay, a crossbow, improvised crossbow, goes for a hundred dollars. Okay, which is really, really good. And then, of course, a metal axe goes for a hundred, hundred dollars as well, which you can sell at the armory. Okay, so these are these are a few things that I've used. Of course, there's a lot of items in the game, but I don't really look at items under a hundred dollars, guys. I focus on items that gives me from a hundred to a thousand, okay, and then to two thousand. So I don't really focus on items that give me less than a hundred. And as you guys saw, most of the items I showed you, you know, gives you a hundred at a time. And then again, if we look at the improvised crossbow, it's three long sticks, a tree bark rope, one rag, and you can even use a puppet rag and a cutting tool. Uh, you know, any kind of any kind of cutting tool. Very, very, extremely easy to craft. That's a hundred, 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 okay? That you're getting in all the time. And then the metal axe, you know, is two scrap metal, one long stick, three improvised rope, a rag and a nail, and a toolbox, okay? So this is a lot more effort. This is a lot more effort, okay? So I, ju I just use this to kill a puppet, Okay, so this isn't worth it at all. You focus on the crossbow, you focus on the improvised backpack, you focus on animal heads, okay? Um, and then if you kill a bear, you make the paws as well, okay? And then you focus on clothing. If this helped you, do me a favor and just click that like button. And if you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about scum, click that subscribe button, guys. See you in the next um, episode where we're going to be covering... Where do I start looting to find really, really good money? Okay? So, see you guys in the next video. Cheers.